It's Christmas time, and I don't know about you, but for me to get into the mood, I love, love, love to watch me some Christmas movies. And you know, here at the Mockbuster YouTube channel, we don't just watch Christmas movies, we experience Christmas movies. And what is the best way to experience a Christmas movie, or any movie in general, is to watch it on 4K Ultra High Definition Blu-ray. So that is the topic of today. We are going to be talking about my favorite and the best looking 4K Blu-rays for Christmas movies, but it doesn't feel right. I don't feel festive enough. I'm wearing like a Bob Dylan shirt, a, a, a freaking Friday the 13th hat. Let's get more festive. <sighs> hey, there you go. This, this hat's a bit tighter than I expected. I got from the dollar store. But anyways, this gets to the point. You know, uh, as a person who doesn't really celebrate Christmas, I always envied Christmas. You know, if you're just in the vicinity of media or just like if you go outside, you know, during the November, December times, you hear the nice heartwarming music. <laughs> And specifically if you're watching TV, you get to see the nice heartwarming movies. I love me some Christmas movies. Honestly, if it wasn't for the kind of pressure of watching a certain movie on a certain holiday. And I had truly done my best morning and afternoon to play it their way and sit like a horror show cooperative malchick in a chair of torture while they flashed nasty bits of ultraviolence on the screen. Though not on the soundtrack, my brothers, the only sound being music. I'd probably watch some of these movies just in general because they make me feel so happy, heartwarming, nostalgic, whatever. Anyways, we're set in the mood. Let's talk about, before we get into it, if you could please do me a favor by please liking and subscribing. That'd mean the world to me. Anyways, let's get into it. Let's talk about the best Christmas movies on 4K Blu-ray. Also, I wanted to choose movies that transcend the whole Christmas genre. I know a lot of certain Christmas movies are only good for being Christmas movies and that's it. But I chose a few movies, like comedies, whatever, that are actually still hold up to this day. Let's get into it. Starting off with the 80s classic National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, Chevy Chase at his finest. Now to start off, I was quite uh, hesitant on this, you know, coming into this transfer because I saw the previous transfer I previously had on Blu-ray, the 2015 Blu-ray by the way, it's not an old Blu-ray, and it looked pretty bad i'm not gonna lie so thankfully i can proudly announce on my heart anyone who loves this film we can rejoice because this 4k actually looks really good with this new 4k transfer i know a lot of people kind of complain when it comes to grain and on the blu-ray the grain looked absolutely horrendous blotchy splotchy boxy it ruined the image here it has a more kind of velvety smooth look to it to where it obviously it is a part of the picture it came out in the 80s it was a film made on film but for grain haters uh honestly this isn't that bad at all it looks more natural again velvety smooth it fits in the image better but it's not as like horrendous and it doesn't really take away from the image so grain haters you're safe with this one this one looks pretty good when it comes to sharpness and detail there is a lot of detail to be seen clothing detail looks really good facial imperfections and inflections look really good too and another reason why I was kind of on the fence when approaching this 4k especially for you know the price here in Canada it's not the cheapest was because for the HDR you know the movie has this kind of like dream like feel to it where everything kind of looks kind of hazy so when it comes to the HDR it kind of adds a little bit of it it's not a disappointment but it's not as natural or lifelike as other transfers. People look like they've just came out of the tanning bed, <laughs> which looks absolutely hilarious. Everyone feels a bit too brown, uh, but that's fine. But it's better than people having pale, lifeless skin. Thankfully, the skin tones, they have liveliness to it. Again, it may be a bit, a bit too much, but you can actually see that people are still alive. They're not dead corpses that's been sitting outside in the December snow. But honestly, dude, oh boy, the HDR really picks up that festive feeling. You know, the colors of Christmas just really pop. And they emit this like immediate sense of nostalgia for Christmas being a kid or whatever. When it comes to the white levels that are pure white, you know, cause, cause sometimes when you look at a, at a 4K transfer, especially if it's made on film plus grain the the white levels could look a bit grayish with the whole grain but here it looks nice pure and white 
And when it comes to the black levels, I forgot to mention, the black levels are fantastic, amazing. Like there's a, a lot of really minute shadow detail that really gets lost in the 1080p Blu-ray, especially with how bad the, just the gray levels are kind of, and just the, um, the grain is really bad on that Blu-ray. Thankfully on this 4K, if you love this film, it does it complete justice. Now let's get into the audio. I know I don't really mention audio much because I'm more of a video guy, but the audio, because because if you, if you have a normal 5.1, it usually does the job, unless it's like a really big IMAX enhanced experience. I feel it doesn't really impact if it's a Dolby Atmos or a 7.1 or a 5.1. For the most part, if it does the job, it does the job. I don't really yearn for more. And it's the same thing with this transfer. It's just your generic 5.1 transfer. All right, now let's change it up. We went from a heartwarming family comedy kind of to let's get into some really depraved horror into Krampus. This is the first time I've actually watched this. A few people actually recommended this movie to me. Uh, and then when the Scream Factory 4K uh, went on sale, I was like, did I have to pick this up? And this is a crazy movie. I was not expecting this to be as good as it was. Just like a fun, dumb horror film. And it, it, the, the, the makeup effects look really cool. And I couldn't recommend it enough. Like if, if you're trying to switch up the monotony of just like family movies, Krampus is a pretty good choice. Now let's talk about the 4K Blu-ray because thankfully that is also really good too. Because again, I kind of fail one thing about these things because this isn't a 4K digital intermediate. This is being upscaled from a 2K DI. And it's also not the biggest movie. It's kind of a low mid-budget film. So I wasn't really expecting the world from this. But thankfully I was proven wrong. My anxieties were set aside because Scream Factory did a pretty good job in this 4K restoration. It does indeed look a lot better than the 2K uh, Blu-ray. So that is a good sign. And the main thing that improves it is that Dolby Vision. This has Dolby Vision, which is absolutely insane because that increases detail and a lot of scenes that re you really can't see because a lot of this takes place in the dark at night. But it doesn't even, doesn't even stop there with the black levels. And it's also just the overall, like, just the color palette. Not, not, not that everything pops. It's just that things look more lifelike, more realistic. On the Blu-ray, it looked a bit over-contrasted. Here in this Dolby Vision uh, HDR transfer, it looks a lot nicer, more live-like. People don't look like hot dogs, okay? They look more realistic and lifelike. Because my problem with the 1080p disc was that everyone looked blue. It was a very blue transfer. So thankfully, here in the 4K with that added Dolby Vision, it adds a more realistic color tone, color palette to it, which is a nice welcome. White levels look pure why there's no real gray hint to it and even just in general just the deep normal detail the 1080p it honestly feels quite dull and kind of boring and you don't really see much of anything so with this 4k i can't recommend enough on the image side of the quality if you're looking for a really cool uh just a fun horror film on 4k that looks really good i'd recommend getting krampus on 4k blu-ray let's talk about the audio though before i forget audio is also actually really good too dolby atmos fantastic i've said it once i've said it multiple times horror audio in horror is like half of the suspense if you don't have good audio in your horror film it, it, it's not even scary it's just boring at that point so thankfully the audio is fantastic in this too and honestly if i had to say this has probably been the best experience of audio when it comes to a horror film audio files you're gonna absolutely love this just sound coming from all over you know there's a scene when krampus you know runs across and just lands on the on the roof of their house and it felt like someone was on the roof of my house, even though it was on the basement. <laughs> it felt like someone was above me, like sneaking around. It was really creepy, really eerie. I really like that experience. The overheads are fantastic. Uh, it's, it, doesn't, it doesn't feel like just a bland upfront uh, audio. You'll get a real 3D experience if you have the setup, honestly. So overall, great audio with Dolby Vision to boot. I couldn't recommend this 4K enough. All right, guys, now we're heading back into the comedy with what I believe is one of the actual best 4Ks of the year so far that's come out. Uh, because there's been a lot of Christmas 4Ks coming up, but I feel like this is top of the heap, and I was not expecting to enjoy this movie as much. I remember seeing it as like a little, little child. I think it was like, what, four or five or something? But I barely remember any. And I didn't even remember the, that John Favreau directed that. And that is Elf on 4K Blu-ray. I was not expecting this to be fucking demo quality HDR, dude. Elf on 4K Blu-ray released by Warner Brothers is an absolute hitter, bro. Honestly, the HDR alone is makes it worth it for this John Favreau Christmas classic. Oh, dude. 
The reds, I love me some reds. It just pops off the screen. It looks so rich and velvety and smooth. It's just eyegasmic to me. And just the normal Christmas lights and the Christmas colors, they look absolutely fantastic. Same with like the Lash Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. It just pops, looks absolutely amazing. But it's not just like the overt you know, neon colors that look really nice. It's the subtle things. Facial complexions look really good. Again, people don't feel like icicles. They feel like actual human beings that lives with blood coursing through their entire body. They look lively, they look nice. You can tell when an actor has been standing outside for the past 45 minutes delivering the lines as like blood rushes to their ears or to their nose. It looks really, it look, you, you can really, it kind of immerses you into this winter experience, especially for a Christmas movie. You understand Understand. If you if you're in the colder climates, I'm in Canada, so you immediately recognize when someone's actually cold compared to when someone's like on a sound stage because no one has that rosy those rosy cheeks or the, the the pink nose or the red ears. With this HDR, it really adds to that immersiveness, I guess. If you're gonna get anything out of it, but other things, facial imperfections, wrinkles, freckles, they're all visible in this 4K transfer. A lot of really good detail too. Clothing detail again is on full display, so you can really tell the differences between like leather, pleather, uh, corduroy, velcro, I don't know, I don't even know what the freaking names for, but you know what I'm saying, different clothing see different looks, it's doesn't, everything doesn't look like it's just cloth, you can really tell from like, like the grainy aspect of like an overcoat compared to like a silky smooth t-shirt on the bottom, you know what I mean, like, like you can really tell the differences, as you can see those little minute details within like the stitching, Patrick, that kind of stuff, clothing detail looks absolutely fantastic. And when it comes to the 4K upgrade, it is a huge uptick, because this has hasn't had like a actual really good restorations in 15 years. The blue last blue that came out for this was 15 years ago. You know, with HDR being a fantastic uptick, with black levels looking really good, uh, white levels looking really nice. You know, nothing feels overblown. The contrast doesn't feel overblown. <coughs> Friday the 13th. <coughs> It looks really good, which makes this 4K the peak. If you love Elf, or you just love Christmas and Christmas comedies, this is a must own for those who love Christmas, who want to have a fun laugh and whatever, and have like a really good 4K experience. Now let's get into the audio. I was not expecting it, but this is actually a decent upgrade from the 1080p Blu-ray. You know, again, it's nothing amazing, but it does have an appreciable upgrade when it comes to the standard Blu-ray. You know, there's a more distinct separation in audio. The 1080p kind of felt like just a just a generic upfront. Everything feels like right here, but there is more separation when it comes to the audio mix. There is added depth to the 4K. The Blu-ray is very shallow, very dull, very boring, very lifeless. You know, the the score, the fantastic score that I really like the score in Elf, it has more room to just sit around and kind of you know, convey its meaning as compared to the Blu-ray, but everything felt just kind of squished together. And it's like, you have audio, you have dialogue, you know, you have background sounds, you have ADR, and then you have the music, and it just felt like, rah! But here, there is more room to be more loosey-goosey, you know what I mean? Like, there's more, there's more area for it to have more depth to the audio. So yeah, you know, because what the problem is with cramming all this audio in two channels, it, it, you get a distortion, which I really don't like, but thankfully in the 4K, it is fixed. This is a, again, this is a must own for 4K fans, for fans of Elf, for fans of Christmas movies, for fans of John Favreau. Honestly, this is a must own. If you can get it for a good price, I highly recommend you guys get it and watch it this holiday season. All right, this is the big cojones, the top two 4K Blu-rays. These are must own, whether you like Christmas or not. These movies really stand alone when it comes to just cinema in general. The number two, 4k the best 4k this has also appeared on my best 4ks just in general uh when it comes to 4k blu-rays and that is home alone number two home alone on 4k blu-ray this is the last hurrah from 20th century fox because i know i think i know a lot of people were kind of hating on me because i said this is a good transfer from disney but apparently fox did this they did the 4k transfer and then obviously uh Disney bought the rights. They already had the 4K uh, restoration of the film. They brought it over and they just, I guess they just distributed it on themselves from Disney. And this looks 
fan-freaking-tastic. It seems like these Christmas movies were tailor-made for 4K, especially the HDR. When it comes down to the overall 4K quality, uh, compared to the Blu-ray, it's not like a, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, this is the most grand, grand, uh, so much detail, blah, blah, blah. There is a lot of detail, but again, the standard Blu-ray also looks really, really good too, so you can't really knock the standard Blu-ray, even though this 4K looks really good, it's still, it's not the hugest, most egregious upgrade ever, because again, the Blu-ray also itself is like a demo-worthy Blu-ray. You know, it's more of a sleeper hit, as very subtle facial imperfections are really on full display. This, again, also the subtle clothing detail is way more apparent in the 4K than compared to the Blu-ray. But again, the hitter, the main event of this 4K is the HDR because colors are absolutely vibrant. This is the most Christmassy feeling Christmas movie with lights and decorations and all that stuff in the background. They really pop, they really look nice. Detail, background detail looks really good. A lot of three dimensional kind of detail because you can see all the things, especially when, when Kevin goes shopping uh, you can see like all the little, little advertisements and all the little products in the background. This is absolutely just a trip back to the past, even though I wasn't alive, but it feels, you know, it feels the nostalgia of the old days of the 90s, right? So it looks really good. But you know, again, this 4K, the HDR has a really good lifelike contrast without being overblown. You know, because even though if you watch the original uh, Blu-ray that came out simultaneously with this, I think there was like a two pack for... How, uh, Home, I'll say how, Halloween, Home Alone 1 and 2. There is a really good vibrancy to it, but it's way over contrasted. People feel like lobsters. Uh, the snow feels, looks weird. Things look really, really over contrasted. This, uh, the 4K, uh, the HDR transfer really tones it down a bit to make it more realistic because things pop, things really pop. If you look at a really nice display of Christmas lights, they look really vibrant in real life. So it's going to portray in that, but it doesn't have too much of an over contrast again where skin tones look really weird it doesn't have that so thankfully the 4k took some you know they took some maturity leaves and like you know what i'm not gonna overly blow myself what what I'm not gonna overblow the, the color palette and all that stuff. It looks really good. But again, uh, I was kind of worried because similar to Christmas Vacation, there's this kind of fuzzy, hazy, dreamlike quality to the image, but it, it kind of really shines through with what the film is trying to portray. You know, the innocence of being a child, you know, that, that, that fun feeling where you're just a kid on Christmas day and I can do whatever I want. Blah, blah, blah. So it's a really cool, uh, really cool added to it. It didn't really take away from the film. Uh, grain also isn't the worst. You know, I've seen a lot worse, but it, it doesn't really, I didn't really notice the grain to be honest. Like if you're a grain hater and you hate the, just the sight of grain, I didn't really see it that much to be honest. You know, the black levels are inky black, no crush whatsoever. Cause you know, a few shots take place outside at night and you don't really lose detail in that. White levels are clean. Uh, and uh, there was a bit of banding in a scene, but it wasn't prevalent and it wasn't throughout the entire movie to where I, it really affected me. In fact, it was quite the opposite and I just really love this 4K experience. Again, I just can't get over how good the HDR feels. This is just a Christmassy Christmas Christmas movie. And as for a person who's never celebrated Christmas, it gives me that emotion. And that's the main reason why you would watch a Christmas movie during Christmas. It's just to feel that Christmassy mood. It is perfect. If And I got this on Black Friday for $9. It is a must own. Every Black Friday season, it's, it's on sale usually, so I highly recommend you go out and get that Home Alone for $9. That's how much I got it for. I got it with a slipcover too. You know what? And makeup looks really good. Stands out or when, because there's a lot, there's a lot, there's not gore. <laughs> there's not gore per se, but like when Marv, get, when Marv gets absolutely decked with the ironing board and you can see like the outline of the ironing board, the different colors of redness on his face and just the outline of the ironing board and a little kind of like scar-like material to it. That looks really, really good. You can actually see the line just going down and it has more detail, which honestly makes that impact look way more painful as compared to the Blu-ray, which, which again, still looks pretty good it's just you can get that more fine detail which again adds to the film adds to the cinematic experience of home alone <laughs> and then on the audio side again it is serve it's a serviceable dtsx hd master audio but again it's not gonna blow you away i kind of wanted to focus this list on image quality again because the imagery is 
Uh, like, you can have demo-worthy audio, but if it looks fucking 480p, it, it's not really going to warrant an upgrade, right? So again, it's serviceable to the film. It looks pretty good. It's not... It, it has more range when it comes to, like, the stunts, when the, the paint can goes down and hits someone in the face. You can really hear the differences of the audio. There's a lot of detail in the audio. And honestly, I would say if you are a lover of Home Alone, who, who like, honestly, who isn't? I guess for people who, who've seen it way too many times... But I would recommend if you're ever going to rewatch this movie, you have to watch it in 4K with that HDR transfer. It looks really good and I couldn't recommend this more enough. So if I've gushed this much about the number two spot, imagine number one, the best 4K Blu-ray when it comes to Christmas movies. You probably might have expected this coming. You might have not, especially because of how much I gushed over the HDR and the color palette. And that is... It's a Wonderful Life. Yes, the Jimmy Stewart 40s classic. Christmas classic. Everyone's watched this movie. I watched this for the first time in, I think, in school. I think it was like in grade three or something. And I remember being just absolutely amazed with the acting and just the visual style of it because it takes place in the 40s. Everything feels very 40s-ish. And you might be asking yourself, why, why are you choosing, you know, a 4K that takes place in black and white? Well, you know, HDR doesn't just mean for colors. It obviously means for shades, black levels, white levels. So there is a lot of detail within the shadows, within the different levels of the gray and the white and the sepia or whatever and the black. So there's a lot to this transfer than more than meets the eye or more than meets the mind, I guess, because in the eye, you can really see a lot of it. But in the mind, you kind of be like, eh, HDR when it comes to black and white films isn't really necessary. Paramount absolutely is amazing. This got a 4K, wait, let me read this. The beautiful 4K scan of the original nitrate negative, you know, and, and if you have never seen this film or if you own that shitty Blu-ray or DVD, this is immediately worth the upgrade because this the 4K scan looks, looks absolutely beautiful. Like, you know, people are like, oh, uh, it looks so good, it could be filmed yesterday, but it doesn't really look like it was filmed yesterday. This film looks like it was filmed yesterday, like Chris by Christopher Nolan or something, with like black and white film. That's how good it looks. It doesn't feel dated. It feels more like a period piece because of how lively this 4K is able to make, you know, actors who've been dead for almost 50 years, they just stand out more lively. It looks really, really good, and it's extremely immersive, and it's an extremely immersive looking 4K Blu-ray. You know, and this is a pure 4K restoration, because when it comes to movies this old, I think almost 80 years old, uh, you know, sometimes they aren't kept in the best quality of situations. The, the Blu-ray that I had, there's a lot of scuffs and, you know, image degradations, film degradations, a lot of popping here, a lot of just lines and random shit that they really just lazily ported onto a Blu-ray. And it was like that for, for like over a decade. But thankfully, this new 4K restoration, they really took the time to actually, you know, for film, for lovers of this film, because this is a classic film. If you've never seen this movie, you're lying to yourself because even I have, even I, you know, you know, very surface level Christmas enjoyer. I've seen this movie at least three times and it looks fantastic. I, you know, this is one of the best, honestly, 4K restorations when it comes to that kind of, those kind of black and white classic films. The audio is also helpful because is also helped because, you know, when it comes to films older than, you know, in that time period, there's a lot of hissing, a lot of crackling, a lot of pops. The audio is also really expertly remastered. And this, again, this feels like a three-dimensional 4K transfer as background scenes, scenes in the background, you know, when it comes to, like, products and uh, different types of set design, it's more discernible as compared to that Blu-ray, which kind of gets lost in the haze and the, the background. Here, uh, because the images are so sharp and because, you know, the, the, the grain looks a lot better, especially, you're able to see more of the image, and when you're able to see more of the image, you're able to appreciate more of the image, which makes this definitely a must-own for fans of Christmas, for fans of Jimmy Stewart, for fans of classic Hollywood, for fans of all that stuff. You know, I usually don't like classic Hollywood, but this, you know, it adds to that kind of feeling of Christmas. I don't really care about the whole, ah, you see? I don't really care about that at that time because it is, the facial expressions and all that stuff are more 
you know scene because a lot of actors they like to you know especially when you're when you're speaking in that mid-atlantic accent you don't really get much emotion here it's expertly done jimmy stewart is a fantastic actor and with this added 4k you're able to see more facial imperfections and just facial detail to when they're they're sad they're happy they're angry you're able to see it more clearly as compared to the blu-ray which kind of gets lost in this kind of fuzzy black and white haze this is very clear this looks very nice it honestly looked like if someone did a flashback scene in today with modern stuff with high-tech cameras it basically looks like that but just way better you know what's cool is that there's no freaking ADR there's no DNR which is the best thing to hear especially if you're a lover of film like I am no DNR oh god thank god when it comes to the audio it is remastered it does sound nice there's not gonna be a Dolby Atmos which it doesn't really need but it has the fantastic original 2.0 mono track if you're a film purist and if you love old school film, this is how you're supposed to be watching this movie. This is how people in the theaters watch this movie. And it just, it sounds really good. Honestly, it doesn't need that extra Dolby Vision oomph to it because it doesn't really warrant it in the first place. But the, the 2.0 just sounds fantastic. A looseless mono track is what it called. I had to Google it. It's a looseless mono track. And also the reason why this is number one is that this is the best 4K restoration ever. This movie is a piece of art. I think it's in like the Film Institute or whatever. But this should be saved, captured. I'm so thankful that they have a really look good looking, good sounding 4K restoration for this. This is how it should be done. James Cameron, take hints from Paramount, restore your old films, no DNR, no fucking bullshit. Make it look good because this movie is a piece of art and it was so meticulously restored to where this looks fantastic. And again, you can get this for dirt cheap. A lot of these 4Ks on this list, you can get for 20 bucks and under and I'd highly recommend it. If you're in the mood for Christmas movies, especially in the month of December, all of these movies you can't really go wrong with. I didn't choose a bad movie that looks good. All of these movies are pretty good in my opinion and I, wouldn't, I couldn't recommend any of these movies enough because I just love a lot of these movies. So those were my picks. A very long-winded video, but I have a lot of opinions on image quality. I'm very... Ugh. So, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. A little Christmas special. You know, I don't really do themed videos. I, I guess I do some for Halloween, but I wanted to step up the game, you know, you know, with surpassing a thousand subscribers last year or this year. Thank you so much. Uh, and you know, with a few days left until Christmas, I hope you guys have a safe and happy Christmas, happy holidays, Kwanzaa, whatever you celebrate, whatever you don't celebrate. I hope you're able to have, take the time out of your week or whatever. Cause I know kids are out off for two weeks and stuff like that. I know college kids are out for the next few weeks, four weeks, five weeks weeks or whatever so i hope you're able to take that time out spend time with your family watch some 4k blu-rays because that's what i'm about to do right now I'm about to sit down and watch some home alone on 4k blu-ray with my brother and uh yeah so happy holidays guys stay safe stay positive long live physical media if you enjoyed this video please make sure to leave a like and subscribe i've been mason from the mock bus youtube channel please have yourself a good day night evening afternoon morning whenever you're watching this please stay safe and god bless peace cheers long live physical media see you guys